self help song or another makeover song. But how it made me open. <laughs> you did. I like me. You, you like me. Cause I like me. Do you like me? See, I like me. Cause he likes me. God likes me. Do you all like me? I like me. Hi, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel for those who are new welcome to la vie del C for another video today i am doing part three of my for my good series of videos and i am speaking on the subject you'll, you'll just see it at just check out the title of the video um, I'm speaking on the next thing that happened after you know all the issues and complications that I had with my father if you watch the previous um, episode part two then you will understand what I'm talking about um, after um, everything started happening with my dad and there was just like this connections and like abuse happening um, I'm not gonna get into the like details of how um, I ended up into family and children services which is fax in short form or foster care I'm not gonna like give too many of the details not at, right now at least but I ended up um, being placed in fax so I was in foster care um, that was I think when I entered grade 9 yeah when I entered grade 9 um, which was like 2011 I believe yeah 2011 um, I or fax took me family and children services took me and I became separated with my dad and um, I basically had no connection with him I wasn't allowed to like talk to him or anything um, at first as they were looking for a home for me I was placed in a group home and a group home was like a place where there was a lot of like kids who were um, mentally um, sick and um, just were dealing with a lot of like other issues they had a bunch of rules for them like there was like curfew lights were off at like nine o'clock and um, some of them were like they were really really sick and would have tantrums like like grown kids around my age even at the time but they would have tantrums and and you know it was that kind of level of sickness and me i was in the midst of it and i was just like oh my gosh where have i found myself what is going on and it was at this place that i started losing myself a bit more and more and i was just like i feel like this is not the place for me um not just in general but i i, I just felt more like i didn't deserve to exist i used to have like suicidal thoughts at that time just like if i could just be you know gone this would just be over because i was like now disconnected from my dad um i have no close family near me that could like take me in um at the time but i also have to say that i ended up making the choice to remain in canada um, once they found a home for me, they found a home for me in like um, around like end of 2011 or 2012 at the end of like grade 9 session. Um, they found a home for me, which is where I spent like the rest of my high school until I came to university to Carlton. Um, they put me there. They found a home for me. And... I stayed with this lady. Her name is Margo. She had she was good to me, and obviously, I had my times of you know, just being a teenage girl. But she she took like really good care of me in the sense that like she was really caring and tried to put rules to make sure 
we didn't you know live a life that was reckless um i had the choice to go and live with my family in the u.s and i had went to a camp like a christian summer camp that was happening i went to that in like 2012 and during that time like that was the time when i when the decision was presented to me oh do you want to stay here or do you want to do you want to go to your family in the u.s and i'm not going to lie to you guys the reason why i chose to stay in canada initially even though I, at camp i prayed about it i was just like oh god like what should i do blah 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 the reason why is because that summer i also went to the u.s to see my family i went to see my aunt the aunt that i would have stayed with if they had sent me to the u.s and then i was wearing like my short shorts right i was like wearing my short shorts i was just like what was I? I was like 15. I wasn't even 16 yet. And my aunt was just like, oh, um, these shorts are too short, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you need to wear shorts that are longer. And I was just like, okay, when I go back to Canada, I'm staying in Canada. I'm not coming back because I'm trying to wear my shorts. I'm trying to wear whatever clothes that I want. So in a sense, I did. I, st I chose to stay here um because i was just like i want my freedom i want to do whatever i want but obviously that didn't lead to you know the greatest path but thank god that he has made everything work out for my good because if god was not god this girl this girl could have been gone she could have been gone but thank god thank god for his grace and his mercy um so i ended up being uh becoming a crown ward basically like the government of canada was my parents um and they were in charge of taking care of me of me feeding me clothing me everything me um and i had no connection with my dad no contact with my dad um that was permitted and it it just took out a piece of me, it took out a, a piece of me um, even further because even though I was at a place where I was being well taken care of, um, it took out a piece of me because I, I was missing the person that I care about and that I believe should have cared about me and I carried so much anger inside of me towards my dad at that time and I was just like how could you reject me how could you choose a, a, a woman over me your daughter um your first child how could you um just let them like you know let me be separated from you and not 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 stand up for me like yeah like not standing up and not putting up a fight to to have me like to keep me um and I think that I really believe that there's a lot of bad decisions I ended up making um, about my life and a lot of habits that I ended up practicing, I guess, that I never would have practiced or I never would have like made those decisions if my dad was present and it was all a part of his absence and me trying to fill up that empty place um that i felt i just made decisions that were negative and i can't say i remember like the exact day or whatever but while i was in care while i was in facts was also the time that I remember clearly the date that I encountered or I could say the spirit of lust introduced itself to me and led to like a deep bondage which I will be speaking more about in the next video so it's 
for, for me at that time when I was when I was when I was in fax and I was living with the with Margot I thought like there was a, a, a church that was like behind the house I thought I was going to the church once like once in a while and there was also a Haitian church I would try and stay connected once in a while like try to stick to my roots and thought you know I was living a life that was pleasing to God but there was so many other things that I disregarded that I didn't realize was actually drawing me away from God. And it's not per se because of of facts of like fa of, of of the home that I lived in, but simply because of the situation that brought me into facts in the first place. So yeah, I will speak to you guys more on um lust and how i struggled with it in the next episode i hope that you guys enjoyed the video please if you have not subscribed subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and press like if you like this video comment if you have any questions any concerns any what other words can i use i don't know anything comment any suggestions you can comment it in the section down below right there right right there and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching Mwah.